Welcome back guys. Today's video I'm going to show you this insane strategy to win most trial matches. In this video I am using the Wither Horde Exotic and I am playing on Hunter with Invisibility. I also went from Stag Warlock which made this class even better. It makes it really easy just to 1v3 people and to take down full teams because people normally can just stand in the Wither Horde or you can shoot at their feet and they'll all burn. It also really closes off lanes and stops you from playing nor like they're normally play and stopping from lanes. You can only sh you can also shoot across the map in the beginning lane and get a little pick off if you're not the greatest at sniping. This build worked amazingly, and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna be talking through wh what I did in each clip and to see how you should improve. This video is really entertaining, so I hope you guys enjoy this. It would mean a ton if you guys liked and subscribed. I'm gonna get onto the gameplay. I hope you learned something from this, and have a great day. Goodbye, guys. Okay, I'm gonna first go to the left side because I know they're gonna come so to that side, so I'm gonna wither horde it. But this isn't always the best course of action. It can sometimes just be a waste of ammo to block off one lane because there's always a bunch of other lanes. But it can also work really well by trapping them off. Which I can come in with the invisibility and just leave the wizard horde. Here I wasn't really, I didn't have the right gun out. I he didn't really really have like, no ammo and I kind of overextended. And he, because he has a sidearm and I only have a pulse rifle so you shouldn't take bro, that fight. Bro, I threw a grenade it was lucky that my teammates got to clean this fight up. Fun, but it worked out well like but it down still was a few mistakes. He did walk in my wither horde though, but he didn't like, he didn't fully burn. He needed to like, taste it. Okay, this time you can see that because I'm not shooting my wither horde, I realize it's kind of a waste of ammo. Just spraying down that lane if they have a, um, bow or sniper rifle can sometimes flinch them off or make them not want to go in the lane. Which is, this is why I'm using a, the rapid fire pulse rifle because, um, it has great range, fast TTK and good close range. But it can also have a ton of ammo to stop those, um, stop people from going in lane. And you get to see, I shot that Wither Horde in the doorway as I was getting ate. It was an unfortunate thing that happened there. I couldn't really do much. But the Dust Veil Grenade, which are really good, good right now, stuck me. But before, if you saw, I shot it in the door so I wouldn't get shotgun aped. As you can see, I'm coming up to a different direction. I don't. See, I see a lot of people do this, that just go to the same lane over and over again. But if it's not working, you should probably just stop doing it. It's. It, it can lead to a constant cycle of losing. You can see I'm kind of on an awkward angle here, so I'm gonna turn invisible and go to the side. He suspected me for some reason, but I did shoot my wither horde down there to stop him from moving. Here you can see I'm a little bit too overextending against the sniper. We still got the kill, but it just it wasn't worth my life. Um, I I'm per I showed on purpose the gameplay that I didn't do that well out of like the seven games yeah, you because I, you can see more and you can see how you can overextend more and how when you look at my failures you can nice. see your improvement. You can see my teammates are doing pretty well this match. There is one teammate that we're kind of carrying right now. If I didn't even realize, but this other guy's carrying us basically, but. I, we come back base I come back basically it's a really tight game and I just want to show you all my flaws in this match <coughs> for any really new players here or any controller players um, if you're on controller and you want to get your first flawless there's a certain few guns that you should be using to try to get is it's a thousand times easier if you use a sidearm or last word. And it's easier to shotgun, or it's easier to snipe or fusion rifle against people with shotguns on PC. Because with keyboard and mouse, they'll probably have the upper hand of reaction speed. Um, I'm not saying all controller players are bad at reaction speed, but I'm just saying in my past of trying controller out, um, even if you can aim the best, you can't always react. This is a big red flag on the other team, what they just did. They allowed me to get the res, and then they focused on my teammate. They could have stopped me from getting the res, and my teammate would have nobody to do anything and just be stuck in the middle of the open. I overextended against the last word, and that's my fault. But they could have done a much better job at this.
Rain. I have you haven't seen yet, but I'm gonna shoot this down the hallway and get a sick down. That's like a really good angle right there because a lot of people like to snipe there and a lot of people like to get stuck at and just leave their body there. And you can tell me I, I didn't really I didn't want to waste it with her horde, but I did shoot it on his res. So if he had to get the res, he wouldn't be able to. And his other teammate, um, has a lot of mistakes I see is don't go into a corner and crouch. Make sure you're always moving. Like that guy had no chance against us. He didn't even have a, a slight one. As you can see, a lot of the mistakes that can be made are mostly just overextending. I see a lot of new players do this, and I think a lot of good players can also, if they have good aim, it doesn't really matter if you overextend. Like, yeah, I've seen people with shotguns running into open lanes. You should always have a purpose for where you move, and you should not be doing some extra move to try to look fancy or to change up your playstyle. And if, when you see us lose rounds, we don't, I, I do, have done this in the past a lot. By switching weapons, you kind of change the whole game up. It's not the greatest decision because you should always be using what you want to use. Except as a direct counter or you're good with that gun too. Or equally as good. A lot of times if you switch between two loadouts and you get good with them, it can sometimes work. But I think even if switched to two, I would think one is better because you really master it and you really understand it. But you can switch off two guns that are in the same archetype with the same zoom. I feel like on keyboard and mouse, zoom is a big factor which people don't look at in aiming. Just a zoom can completely change the feel up of a gun. As you can see, I had no clue. You never, um, I kind of forgot about the guy on the radar and you shouldn't run down that hallway unless you like, fully know there's nobody there and Don't use you have to really pay attention to this when you're invisible because um the people on the other team i've seen a lot of people running invisibility today and it, it really disrupts the team i had one guy with a um chaperone single-handedly take down our whole team and kill us and lose us the game which can be really s disheartening and re makes you feel like you got cheated out of a win but invisibility is something that's in the game, so you kind of have to get used to it, which is really sad, but oh, I do enjoy playing with it. No and even no with the dodge radar. change, I think no visibility radar. can still be good with the other yeah. reload dodge. I am not fully... I'm disappointed now that nobody's going to be using Gambler's dodge, but I did think the Gambler's dodge was always just so much better, and they could have, like, like, put it to maybe 15 seconds instead of 18, and then put, like the reload one at 13 because I really don't think there's like no reason to use Gambor's dodge now because it truly ruins your build unless you're doing some melee build I would not use this because your normal dodge is literally just gonna help you get out of more positions because the more you can spam it the more exotics you can use to spam with it and the more <coughs> is visibility you can have and the more times of getting out of free fights I really hope you enjoyed this first game. The next game I did not do any commentary <coughs> over. I gotta quickly get this edited and uploaded. I really hope you guys enjoy this. I really had fun making these and I want to keep improving my talking. As you can see it was a funny game with him having zero kills. It's just sometimes how it be. Not if, You're not gonna get everybody in a random lobby good. I didn't show you my best game because I really wanted to show you all my mistakes and I think the biggest mistake I see people using is not using what they want to use or n wanting to be too different and not using the meta guns. If you're truly that bad at the game, you should keep improving, but at the time being, you should probably just use the dead man's tail because it's that broken They're, now. That was way too aggressive. It kind of just gives you free shots. I got one. Got one. Got one. And I'm really getting got behind, got behind. Behind. the whole weekend because it's been easy to you. cross the map with it. Exist. I hope you guys love this video. It would really mean a lot Damn, to subscribe. I'm putting a lot in my channel, yes. and I might him. want to start advertising Beat soon. Him. You might see this on some yeah, else's recommended, reset and last I really time. appreciate you clicking uh, on yeah, this. I think I it. Thank you for watching, reset. and have an amazing day. I'll leave you to the rest of the gameplay. Goodbye, guys. This is so good for zoning. <laughs> I'm like, mm -hmm. I feel like a, I feel like a poli- like a co- like a, what's it called? Like a- Town manager, like my zoning laws are insane. Town manager. Yeah, that's the interesting way to put it. Oh wait, I'm gonna go get that. No, I cannot get that. Ooh, my health is unbelievable though. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being so bad, you get killed.
kill my wither nerd. Guy in mid's pretty low, I think. Now he's gonna be really low. Never mind. He's, he's got that for res. Yeah, probably. Let's just, okay, bro, let's just rush him, you know. Oh, never mind. You res? He did res. Ethan, back up. Yeah, yeah. As Bobby runs in, Ethan, back up! Because <laughs> Ethan was getting shot at, and I wasn't, so I was. <laughs> Also, mask of mask of mask of back whack is like really good for the see. Oh, zoom zoom right into their faces, and they can't really see what's going on. It Master works. for play guardian. This team really isn't mm -hmm. that good anyway. But... It's a fun game, you know, killing your enemies until they don't want to play anymore. I oh, stuck one. I stuck God, one. I stuck one. I just stuck one with this. That's good noise. Is it? This is so hectic. What's going on? I'm throwing all my grenades down. I know it's killing my frames. Fire, fire, fire. Oh my god, this hand, this hand cannot only hit three taps with it. I don't it. think I did any damage that match. That was so hectic. How do we win? I'd see the stats. <laughs> Me. How we win? Me. Uh, god. The stupid freaking wither horse is carrying us. It's so stupid. <laughs> Zero down. 12 kills. It's ridiculous. You don't even have to do anything. I literally had to, I hit three taps.